And then some more athar, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam said, Beware of glances, the nazra, for they so desire in the heart, which is temptation enough. So Sayyidina Dawood told his son, alayhi salam, alayhi mas salam, Oh my son, walk behind a lion or a black cobra, but never walk behind a woman. Every man knows exactly why. Sayyidina Yahya alayhi salam was once asked, how does zina begin? And he replied, with looking and with wishing. Al-Fudayl, this is Fudayl bin Ayyad, one of the great early Sufis, said, Shaitan says, it is my ancient bow and my arrow with which I do not miss, referring to looking. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, this is a hadith narrated by Imam Ahmad, al-Nazar al-Sahmun masmum min sihami iblis, a gaze is a poisoned arrow from shaitan. Whoever abstains from it in fear of Allah shall receive from him an increase in faith. يُرِثُهُ اللَّهُ إِيمَانًا يَجِدُ حَلَاوَتَهُ فِي قَلْبِهِ The sweetness of which he will feel in his heart. So to look, other than looking accidentally, is a sin. To look away increases one's iman. And the mu'min of a sound heart knows this from experience. He also said, alayhi salatu wasalam, I leave behind me mo no temptation more damaging to men than that of women. No fitna. And again the ulama hastened to explain that this cannot be an equation of women with fitna because he married women it is instead a condemnation of the weakness of males. He is talking here about the public sexual aura or presence of women. It is not talking about women as women. That's narrated in Bukhari. And he said, alayhi salatu wasalam, beware of the fitna of this world and the fitna of women. For truly the first fitna of the Bani Israel was through women. Often, Muslim chauvinists like to use these hadith to indicate their view of the derogation of women, but that's not the correct meaning. It's not the essence of woman that is being condemned here. It's rather the male weakness. When the word woman here is being used metonymically. And this is even a commandment in the Qur'an. قُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَغُضُّ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِمْ Tell the believing men to lower their gaze. وَيَحْفَظُوا فُرُوجَهُمْ And protect their chastity. And to indicate that this is a duty equally incumbent on both sexes. Uh, the verse goes on to say, وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَغْضُضْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِنَّ وَيَحْفَظْنَ فُرُوجَهُنَّ And tell the believing women to lower their gaze and to preserve their chastity. Mm -hmm. That's pure for them. Surely Allah is aware of what they do. <coughs> and then uh, hadith, this is in Abu Dawood and At-Tirmidhi. Um Salama narrates Ibn Um Maktum al-A'ma once asked leave of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to enter while I was sitting with Maymuna. And the Prophet ﷺ asked us to go behind a screen and we asked, is he not blind and unable to see us? And he replied, do you not see him? This shows that it is not lawful for women to sit with blind men as has become the custom today at banquets and funeral assemblies. It's only lawful for women to speak to men and to look at them for purposes of general necessity. It's halal for them clearly to have pursuits in the world, to go shopping, inevitably to interact with men who are not their maharim. This is inescapable. Sometimes it's necessary for them to do that to defend their honor and dignity. There's nothing wrong with that. 
if it's a general necessity, the umum al haja, as Imam al Ghazali says, but one does not overstep the line, turn it into some excuse for social relaxation. And then the Imam gets even more hard hitting and says, now it may also be the case that a man is able to keep his eyes from women, but not from adolescent boys. And for him too, it is better that he marry. But the case of boys is even more damaging, since if a man's heart inclines to a woman, he may at least render her lawful to him by marrying her. To look with desire at the face of a boy is forbidden. In fact, everyone whose heart is affected by the form of beautiful boys to the extent that he senses that they are different from bearded adults is forbidden to look at them. <laughs> 